Look what was at our door. Priority mail even. Let's, can't wait to open this up. I have to be careful where I put this knife when I open this. Because there's a original box to this thing. And I don't want to cut into it. To be honest, I'd rather cut my fingers. Protective coatings. Coverings. I better be careful when I open this. Let's see if I can flip this over. go. Check that out. That, my friends, is a brand spanking new 1978 Coleman stove in the original box. Never been used. Yeah, I gotta say, wow. <laughs> I got it. I got it on eBay. Looks like they taped this closed here. I think that's the... Yeah, it's like I don't want to ruin the original box, you know. Is that really important? I don't know. So this belonged to an elderly couple. Ha! <laughs> elderly? <laughs> I'm 70. And they had it stored. They bought it and look at that. It's brand spanking new. This thing has never been used. Look at that. Shiny. Yep. It's got the Coleman stickers and the original directions. Yeah. So I saw this and I snatched it up because we're going to do some truck camping. And uh, we wanted to have a stove in case, you know, you can't make a fire and then sometimes you go into a park and there's no place to make a fire. and Or the wood is wet or whatever. Yeah, whatever you can think of. So we decided we'd go with it. So we bought this because it... It's a, it burns white gas. So you fill the gas and pump it up. I'm sure people are familiar with these old things. It's about 30 pumps, start to fire, about 15 more pumps, and you're ready to start cooking. And that goes in there just like so. So we were looking at new stoves, and you know, there's a lot of new propane stoves out there, but we started weighing this all out, and this will do just as good a job as, you know, propane will. But we looked, at, we looked at the cost of like a gallon of white gas was $14. We were looking at the propane tanks, those little propane tanks that go with your stoves. And they go for anywhere from $7 to $10 when we were looking in the store. So, we found from some previous videos we were watching that a gallon of fuel will last as long as four propane tanks. So, a gallon of fuel versus four propane tanks is $14 compared to 
$36 at least for fuel to cook for the same period of time. So just in that kind of thinking, you know, with saving that kind of money, $14 versus $36 to cook for the same period of time, we decided to get a Coleman stove. And we were looking at brand new ones online. And uh, this type here, they sell that is a two fuel system. It burns the white gas and unleaded gas. But I don't know, there's just something about burning unleaded gas that I don't like. So we decided to search the internet for a used one. And I found this new one for sale. And uh, I was able to bid on this and, and get it cheaper than some of the used ones are going for. So we're pretty happy with this and we just can't wait to get out and use it. So I'm looking at this picture you know and some of this is nostalgia because you know both Diane and I remember having our parents even having stoves like this and uh, you know years ago I had one I, re I even remember this little rack you know, that held it up when you were cooking. and Yeah, I've taken them up in the boundary waters when there's been burning bands up there, so it was real handy to have up there when you can't have a campfire. So we're going to uh, do a little bit of, I call it truck camping. Uh, we're going to try and set up the truck so that we can sleep in the back. But for now, we're just itching to get out and do some camping, so we're going to take our Civil War period correct A-frame tent and our fly. We're going to throw it in our truck and we're going to find a place to go camping so we can try this out. And then from there we'll kind of work into uh, into our truck camping thing. You know last year we went on a vacation and you know the most expensive part of the whole vacation I thought it was going to be gas. <coughs> it wasn't. It was all of our hotel costs. I mean, 180 bucks here, 180 bucks there, and it's like, after we took our trip, yes, it was nice to sleep in motels. But you know what? We do the Civil War period camping, and we love tent camping and cooking on a fire. And it's like, well, if you can find a place to do that, figure 24, 25 bucks a night, 180 some for a motel. Yeah, I think we're going to do some camping and we're going to set up the truck eventually so that if we wanted to just go out for, a, you know, a night somewhere, we can sleep in the back of the truck and then just head back home, make life a little easy. While we're still young enough to do this stuff because, you know, it's going to come to a point where we're going to be camping in front of that TV constantly. Well, maybe you will. <laughs> anyway, we just wanted to show you what we got, what our ideas are. We'll catch you on our next one. God bless you.